Okay, we're about to do a patient reading and we've got Mrs. Jane Smith with us who's kindly volunteered to be our patient for today. First, what we need to do is make sure that there is a patient file open. So if we have a new patient, we have some options here. We have the new patient icon or we can just go up to the patient drop down list and choose new. I'm going to click the new patient icon. So the information you're absolutely going to need to run a test is denoted by the red squares. You see patient ID, and that's actually a unique identifier. So for our purposes today, we're just going to use P1 for patient 1. Family name is Smith, so S-M-I-T-H. The first name is Jane, so J-A-N-E. And your date of birth, Jane? March 7th, 1953. 7th. March 1953 and of course Jane is a female and that's all we really need. You'll notice on this side there is a reference database. We're going to leave it on American because that really does include 99% of the people that we, were be, we will be seeing. So let's click OK. So Mrs. Smith I just want you to know that this is a perfectly safe exercise. What I'm going to be doing is taking this probe and just rolling it gently over your bone and what it does is measures the speed of sound. It's the ultrasound. But again, it's perfectly safe. There is no pain involved. If at any time you want me to stop, you can just tell me to stop. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? About no, that? that's fine. Okay. So what we need to do now then is make sure that we have the measurement type correct. We've got single site. We've got distal radius, which is correct for the site. And of course, the probe, which is CM, is the default probe. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that we're in the measure mode. And this, all this is doing is getting the machine ready for measurement. So I'm going to click Measure. And there we go. It's ready to measure. You'll see that it reads cycle 1 of 3, uh, 1 of 5, excuse me. And what that means is that we're going to be doing a number of cycles uh, so that the probe is able to do its measurement and get consistent readings. So what I need to do first, Mrs. Smith, is measure the length of your arm. We have a handy measuring device here. If you'll just put your elbow into this uh, right up square with the edge of this device and extend your arm out and with the tip of your finger as high as it'll go, I'm going to measure with this device to the very tip of your finger. And I see that it's 45 centimeters. So I'm going to take my marking pencil and take half of that because that's where we want to measure. So at 22 and a half centimeters, I'm going to put a small mark and I'll try to do it lightly. Now if you'll just put your arm down on top of this rest and maybe hold on to this bottle for me. That's great. With your arm away from me, I'm just going to extend that line around your wrist and that's going to give me an area from which to measure because your radial bone actually runs up from your wrist right up to your elbow. There we go. Now the next thing I need to do is take some of the lubricant. Uh, it may be a little cool. I'm going to put a little bit on your forearm here. And I'm going to put some on the probe. And I'm going to basically just get the connection going first before I start the measurement. Now you'll see that I've got my first, second, and third fingers holding the probe and my third and fourth as a guide. And I'm going to run the probe along down 70 degrees to the, this side, 70 degrees to that side as it measures, trying to keep the uh, probe itself flush to the skin the whole time and perpendicular to your arm. So I'm ready to actually start it and what I do that by kicking on the foot pedal and you'll hear that noise. That sound is actually the sound of the ultrasound going through your bone. And it's supposed to be about a five second drag from one side to the other. So I can count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 
1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And there, that sound means I've come to the end of the first cycle. Now, we may have to do up to five cycles. Hopefully, we'll only have to do three cycles. Now, this is the time where I can check to make sure we still have enough gel. And now we're going to start the second cycle, and I'm going to kick the foot pedal, and you'll hear the same again. So let's do that. And we start again. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. And there we've come to the end of the second cycle. Now, if we are done after the third cycle, we'll see that results button on the bottom right uh, light up and become active. And it will tell us that we're, we've done enough. So let's try. Three is the minimum we need to do. Hopefully we can do that. We'll kick it again. And here we go. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1,000, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000. And there we go. Yes, and it's illuminated. And the words at the bottom here are saying that we've completed successfully. So I'm going to click on the results button. And there we go.